Hello everybody, I'm Loaf Dog and welcome back to Rule of Rose. So, we've just been uh, dropped into this rose garden and I don't know, I have a feeling we're gonna meet the Princess of the Rose anytime soon. I mean, yeah, <laughs> there are roses around. Okay, I guess they're um, telling us to follow the big dude. So I'm not gonna waste my time going back there. Because we've seen that, yeah, exploration isn't really rewarded. So, yeah, let's just follow him. See where he brings us. Gingerbread house. Ah, dear save knight. I have no need for you right now. You can barely read the faded name on the old mailbox. Gregory... M. Wilson. Mr. Wilson, you say? Huh. What's in the shack? Biscuit shed. Yes, baby. Okay. Now we're talking. Where are the biscuits at? The thick smell of dust and mold fills the shed. Well... Biscuits are still biscuits, even if moldy. Although I'm starting to think that biscuit is the name of a <laughs> of an animal. Seeing as there were like um Ooh, supplies in there. Who's talking here? Ah No, don't do it. Or maybe do it? I don't know. I'm not here to you know tread over your uh, needs and wants you you can just do as you please as oh it's another area okay garden as long as you leave that weapon for me maybe you should do it you know <laughs> the ground has been dug up in several places i can see that but there were some shinies there it is a shovel is it a weapon or do I use it to... Um, yeah, no, I can't even use the find action, of course, because Brown is not with us. But yeah, I can equip it. Hmm, will it be stronger than the cleaver? Let's test it out. At least it has range. So that's good. The swing is broken. Only one of the rotting ropes is still intact. Damn, I really wanted to sit there and just take in all this beautiful place. You know, relax, chill a little bit. Let the breeze flow through my hair. Hallway. And this is, yeah, it's weird, like... Why are we not in the orphanage? Are these places nearby or are we like, I don't know, changing dimensions or going through memories or something like that? The color had, has faded, so it's difficult to tell whether it's a drawing or a photo. I mean, it, it looks like the Virgin Mary holding Jesus, honestly. But that could just be a coincidence. There's all sorts of trash here. Empty biscuit tin, cans, torn newspapers, old photos, etc. Ho ho. Okay, yeah, you probably shouldn't be drinking, you know, given your situation. <laughs> but that's just a little, you know, tip. Once again, you're free to do whatever you want. I don't understand why she gasped and backed away. I'm assuming we can't go in there. Yeah, well. Nice try, Jennifer. Nice try. Little Soldier's Barracks. There is a large box. Okay, you don't want to see what's inside? Uh, is she gonna... No! Oh well. 
Maybe yes. Oh, to get into this. Oh, okay, okay. Or maybe not. <laughs> the carpet is freaking out. But she doesn't want to get in there, so... I don't know. It's weird, though. It seems like it was made on purpose. Like... Oh, I can't get inside here either. Um, Am I missing something? Is there a button that I don't remember using? I'm trying everything. Um, am I stuck? Why though? Um, okay, now it worked. Let me try it again, it was a little weird. It, it didn't work the first couple of times. Okay, I guess you gotta hit it at an, at an angle for it to work. I mean, weird, but uh, as long as it works. Climbing through the window, the girl found herself in a full in a room full of... Uh, didn't see? The toys wait patiently for their master, even as they slowly decay. A creepy old toy figure stares up at the sky. I mean, you won't find anything good in the sky, brother. Yeah, there are toy airships and airplanes. Toy pilots. Whomever's room this was, he must have loved all things that can fly. I mean, I don't see any dragons in here. <laughs> I don't see any insects. He just loved, uh, you know, the, the aviation, the military. <laughs> Eerie toy soldiers patiently await their commander's return. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is it, I guess. Of course, we can't open it. Yeah. Okay. Mm, a little weird. But I guess it's cool that we've seen the rest of the house. Nah, I, I, I'm assuming we have to, to get something in there at some point. Maybe not right now. Maybe with Brown. Because otherwise, it feels like a lot of work to to keep us from entering a place that is essentially useless. I can hide in a closet, maybe? A coat with mud on it is hung in the closet along with a hat. Alright. Is it the same dude? It must be. But then, yeah, is... Are we, like, watching memories? Yeah, I, I think we're reliving through memories of these guys. Lavatory. Huh. They have an automatic service. The dirty pool of water at the bottom of the tub looks almost like blood. Eh, not really. It's just filthy. June 1929. There are strange symbols on certain days of the calendar. Oh yeah. Well, isn't that just the weather? And the moon phases? Can't interact with this. I guess we'll head out. Hmm, what's in here? Isn't this the room uh, where he was drinking? Yeah, okay. And now he's sleeping, ah, oh, like a little angel. Have sweet dreams. Yeah, and she gasps and backs away. That's weird. <laughs> I guess our goal is to go to the basement where he was doing... Oh! This is the basement, so let me, yeah, let me backtrack a little bit. I want to see the rest of the house first. So I'm assuming that's where we are uh, actually headed. We're gonna need that gun, aren't we? Hey, hey, he's laughing at least. 
Good on you, brother. Good on you. Ah, that was that. Okay. Well then. You might have a revolver, but I have a shovel. And if Shovel Knights thought me anything, is that... Yeah, this is a pretty sick weapon. You should not underestimate it. Boxes of what appears to be grain are stacked haphazardly. He's mumbling something. The pea outside? By Sunday it can't be found. Yeah, he's uh, reciting one of the little poems. Ah, welcome home. It's almost bedtime for you. Good night, Joshua. Or oh, was that Jennifer saying that? Is that Joshua? A bundle of letters were hidden under the bed sheets. 10th of November. To Mr. Joshua, the bear in distress. My name is Wendy. I always watch you from the sky. Mr. Joshua, why are you trapped down there? 27th of November. From Wendy to Joshua. My prince in need of rescue. It was a pleasure to meet you, my dear prince. What a wonderful encounter. Yes, I only wish there was a world for just you and I, the prince and the princess. Don't worry, I'll set you free. 9th of January, from Wendy to Joshua. Oh, my poor, kind prince. You're worried because that man sometimes seems crazy, right? Well, don't worry. Be happy. Do, 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 do. I know where he hides, that awful thing of his. Um, is that a, a euphemism? <laughs> so, let's run away together. You can leave it all to me. Everything will be alright. 20th of January, from Wendy to Joshua. My prince, please don't worry. I'll do anything for you. Just pledge your love for me. That's all I ask. Yeah, I feel like that's how she gets you. 27th of January, from W to J. Thank you, my eternal prince. Tomorrow night, I shall unlock your shackles. Let us live together forever. Everlasting, true love, I am yours. Oh, okay, okay. The, um, the phrase is at the end of each of the books. Okay, uh, this is becoming a little more interesting now. Although, like, what does Joshua represent in the whole, uh, I don't know, orphanage dynamic? Is he the groundskeeper? A newspaper clipping is pinned up. 23rd of June, 1929. Luxury airship missing. England's largest luxury airship which just set sail on its virgin flight. A flight celebrated across the country with great fanfare was reported today to have gone off course and is currently missing. It is speculated that the vessel diverted from its course to avoid a low-pressure system approaching from the south, but its whereabouts are still unknown. Due to the heavy thunder and rain that have blanketed the area since yesterday, the search for the airship has faced many difficulties. Okay, so I guess, I'm guessing that's the airship we were on. But then again, how is it just in the backyard of the orphanage? Yeah, we must be like in someone's mind or something. If not that, at least reliving their memories, although... Yeah, can I get the bear to fall? In, in any way? Yeah, I knew it. Jennifer found teddy bear. An adorable teddy bear with a green ribbon tied around its neck. Right then, the trapped the lucky girl heard a gentle voice. Am I trapped? I didn't even know. 
I came just like I promised. It looks like okay. Stay right there. I'll help you out. Okay. I'll just keep, uh, you know, exploring the room in the meantime. Mirror doesn't tell me anything. Can I inspect the bed? Yeah. Look under the blanket? Yeah, sure, why not? Ooh. Oh, a boy's shirt, pants, and shoes have been neatly laid out on the bed. Uh, <laughs> you could hear it in my voice. I went like, oh, because I thought, hey, new outfit. But no, it's a boy's outfit. For some reason, Jennifer felt a sudden pain in her chest. Her time had come. She suffered a heart attack and the game was over. Okay, so am I really just supposed to be hanging tight until... Uh, the little girl, I don't remember the name, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, helps me or... Um... Can I even try to leave? Okay, yeah, now I see it. Yes, I am stuck. Yeah, this is still closed, of course. Woohoo! Thank you, girl. Jennifer, I unlocked the door. I'll keep a lookout, so come right away. Will do. Here I am. See how fast that was? Um, where are you, though? <laughs> And also, she'll keep a lookout, so is the groundskeeper dangerous? I mean, he has a gun, but he didn't seem hostile towards me. He could have killed me already. Let's run away before the man comes back. Before we go, we should find that dangerous thingy and take it with, and take it with us. It's for his own good. Wow, smart girl. I mean, she went this way, and the only room is this one, so... Huh. Study. I'm fine now. Let us go, shall we? It's in there, right? G give, give that to me. Give that to me, little girl. Then we can go. Ah, damn. I missed my chance. Books, ink, cigarette butts. These are some of the things on the disorganized desk, along with the picture frame. Oh, it's faded in spots, but the picture is of a happy family. I mean, um, could be, sure. Could be a feather in the sun, uh, but it, that's not a whole family. <laughs> Was that a rat on the balcony? <laughs> The backyard looked more like it was raised rather than plowed. Oh no, it's just like, uh... Okay, yeah. I thought there was a rat on the windowsill. Okay, I guess that's it for this room, yeah. We don't care about the wardrobe in here. Okay, you go on ahead. Although... You should probably, you know, just draw that weapon just in case. We're not gonna need it, but you never know. I should have explored the main uh, room, right? Hmm, probably. Oh, she is. Joshua? Joshua? Oh, okay, so it was him talking. He mistook us for his own son. Yeah, I don't want any part in that, so... Yep. But, well... I wanted to save. <laughs> well then. Go, 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 girl. Don't stop. Okay, I'm assuming she... Already opened the gate for us, and... Nope, she did not. It's shut, and you can't go any further. Okay, then back in the garden? How is that gonna help us? How are we gonna escape? <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> I'm so glad. Now we can always be together. Say, I have a favor I wanted to ask. Will you trade your teddy bear with my brooch? Sure, I don't give a damn. 
Yeah. Aw, thank you. Hehe, <laughs> I'm so happy. We should give him a name. How about Joshua? Um, I don't know, they might upset the big dude. <laughs> Joshua, yes, that's a wonderful name. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you can see Jennifer likes the name. She's nodding heavily. I'll cherish him as much as I cherish you. Uh, thank you, unknown little girl. I didn't know I meant that much to you. So let's renew our pact. Is this the friend we promised not to forget the things? Yeah. Everlasting true love. I am yours. Okay, okay. The pieces are coming together. Would you like to save? Yes. Uh, no memory card inserted. What? <laughs> okay, that, that's a little weird for <laughs> for an emulator, but sure. And back at the airship. Yeah. And that's the little boy, yeah. You should go back and hang around with Amanda before you belong where you belong. Well, I'm a I'm a station above Amanda, if I may say so, so don't confuse me with those type of people. And why am I not advancing in the in the in the rankings here? I'm doing everything you ask of me. October 1930. Rag Princess Sue's. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Amanda, yeah, she was um, making something for us. We never saw what it was. This is an emergency. Joshua the Bear is missing. Search teams are on the lookout. The person who finds him will receive a red crayon and will be invited to join the aristocrat club. R red crayon aristocrats. Finally. Brown. Dude, where have you been? Okay, my boy. No. <laughs> We've just met him again. Let let's not give him orders right away. Okay, let's equip this. Let's drop the ice pick. Yep. Um, I mean... He's missing, but where should I start from? Hmm... Let me check one thing. Here it should say... Yeah, filthy, Jennifer... Okay, it's still the same. Hmm, I don't know, let's go into the sick bay. For starters. Maybe we'll find a clue. Or at least someone. Yeah. The lonely princess is sleeping quietly. Traces of tears shimmer around her eyes. Ah, Is it because of the rabbit? I mean, he was fine in the end, right? Ah, still can't get in there. Okay. I guess the room is off limits from now on. Well, since that... A uh, weird encounter with the monsters. Library. Uh, anybody? Meg? Oh, Meg is here. The wise looking princess said. The princess was very fond of Sir Joshua the Bear. So her highness is rather displeased by this incident. The culprit who stole Sir Joshua will be severely punished. Okay. Uh, d don't look at me. I know you want to. Don't look at me. I was unconscious for most of the time here. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm guessing probably if we reach Sector 8, something will happen. That's usually how it goes. You. What do you have to say? Why would anyone? Why would someone steal something so precious to the princess? Why? 
I mean, it's a it's a cruel world we live in, girl. You you never know. Sometimes people act the way they do for the silliest reasons, and the pettiest. Okay, are you all right, sir? I'm sure Joshua will like the story I wrote for him. Bye. I mean, he did call me Joshua, so technically this is for me. Jennifer found Rag Princess. So he's the one writing these weird stories. I wonder... I kind of feel like the adults are putting up the kids to all of this. I mean, then they went crazy and started doing it on their own, but yeah, I kind of feel like mm, the reason all this is happening is because of the adults. Once upon a time, there was a girl who sued rags. Day in, day out. The stench of the rags seeped into her clothes. Do... do rags stink? <laughs> I mean, used ones, probably. <laughs> her stepsisters wore beautiful dresses and went to the ball. The girl stayed at home, and her jealousy festered. One day, a fairy godmother came, cast a spell upon the girl, and said, Sue yourself an ash gray dress, then you can go to the ball like your stepsisters. The girl patched together the sooty rags, and that's how she became the rag princess, a very stinky princess indeed. She stunk up the whole town, in fact. No girl who stunk so would be allowed into the ball. I'll make that girl wear this awful dress myself. And thus, the rag princess and the girl in the rag dress became play pals. Ah, oh, that's nice. Hey, a story with a happy ending, actually. Wow. What's about time, mister? Working class luggage. Are we gonna find the dress here? No, Amanda, okay. I can't help but think that there's someone under there. Uh, everything alright? Oh, I'm sorry. Why is she so feral? Okay. Um, I guess she spent all of her energies with that attack. Something is covered up. Yes, and we should uncover it. I guess not. Oh, but now that she's sleeping, maybe. Well, we actually had many chances where no one was here, so... There's a small diary. However, the case is locked, yes. Um, so like, girl, uh, Miss Amanda, please, Miss Amanda, you can't be sleeping in here. We have very important work to do, and I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. Please help me. I'm just a poor little girl. Oh, you don't suspect me of stealing it, do you? I know who really took Joshua the bear. It's um, uh, Wendy. She's always sick in bed. Yeah, that's probably why she didn't do it. It's got to be her. Okay, are, are you still making that gift for me? Or, or, like, are you trying to do something else? It's also funny that we should have to go back to the sick room. Because I went in there first. But, whatever. This is why, as I said before, yeah, exploration is not really rewarded. We just have to follow the objective. Um, you might want to tell the truth, Wendy. I can be pretty persuasive. Actually, the shovel can, so... Ah, uh, oh. Someone persuaded her first.
The lonely princess pleaded tearfully. <laughs> oh, Diana and the others came to me just a minute ago. And they accused me, saying I'm the one who took Joshua the bear. How could they think that? I mean, did, did they push you off the bed or... <laughs> Thank you. After promising to take care of him, uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Promising to take care of him, you say? So it was with you? Huh. Okay. Don't worry about me, but be careful not to upset the other girls. I like how we at least have a couple of friends here. I don't know if they are, like, really on our side or really friendly or just, you know, they're in need, so they play the part. Yeah, I don't know. But, on the surface, we have a couple of friends. I'm guessing it's back to Amanda for now. Maybe she, she finished the dress and will stop growling at me. Maybe I could feed her a scone. I wouldn't really want to lose it though, so... I mean, you could benefit from a little dieting, Amanda. It's covered now, okay. <laughs> She's turned it into an atelier. Ooh, the strong-willed princess tipped her nose up and spoke with an arrogant expression. Does she ever not? Jennifer, do you know where Amanda went off to? Oh, well, I doubt it'll be much help, but run along and join the search for Joshua the Bear. Hurry up and go. I am looking for him. I don't know how to get to him. We still have nothing that we could, uh, you know, give to good boy here. Hmm. But now what do I do? Oh. The gluttonous prince said. The stick I was playing night with broken half. I wonder where I can find a good stick around here. The sloppy prince said. My sword broke while we were playing knights in shining armor. You don't have a nice stick we can use, do you? Well, uh, no. Don't look at this one. It's mine. Hmm. Yeah, but they they are useless as always. <laughs> I mean, they add a little bit of flavor, yes, but uh, I'm still as unsure of my of my path as I was before talking to them. Hmm, teddy bear. Why would someone steal it? Why? I'm gonna go back here for a second, but I really don't think this is the right way. We gotta be exploring the rest of the airship by now, right? Why would they make us go up and down so many times? Yeah, I probably should be looking for Amanda. Oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Could I maybe use the item... I found in like the first, second, or second chapter, or whatever, what, whichever it was, and use it to find Amanda. Or does it not work anymore? Hmm. When you open the door, you are greeted with a wonderful scent. Ah, nice. Yes, it was the fresh scent of the first snow of winter. A cool and crisp scent drifts about the room. Um, nice. Wasn't expecting it, but it's, uh, it, it is a surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. I ask for clues. If my memory serves me correctly, you must find the doll, the precious doll. The princess who holds a grudge against you has vanished. 
Um, they pretty much all held grudges against me. And I think the worst offender was Diana, and she's right there. She hasn't vanished. Events are growing even more bizarre. Find a small-hearted princess, that's your only clue. Small-hearted, was that Amanda? Nah, right? Uh, not super sure. L let me let me still check for it. Stock an item, actually take an item. I want to take, uh, I guess, file? Floral letter, yes. There it is. Take. Nice. I guess we... Oh, sorry, sorry, boy. I guess we could drop the rag princess, yeah. Nice. No, I didn't mean to do this. I meant to do this. Let's see if it works. Okay, okay. Okay, we're on to something. Yeah, boy! No, I'm actually happy because I thought I hit another wall. Because, yeah, I don't think I've had... I, I don't think I've ever had one, not even one episode, <laughs> in which I wasn't lost for a moment. So it would be pretty cool if this was the first. Come on, boy. Lead me to her. I'm sure she must have some bacon somewhere as well for you. That'll be your reward. Your share of the bounty. Okay, Sector 7. It's already a good start. I was about to go the other way, if I had to guess. And no enemies thus far. Hmm. Woof woof, brother, come on, come on. Um, are you sure? Uh, no, okay, I get it, bro, but like, so what? I'm pressing X, nothing's happening, so. Um, there's a box there, though. Let's try going around. Maybe... Oh, unless... No, they've made it even more difficult to, to go that way. Okay, okay. Let's try going around. Perhaps we might find something useful in that box. I mean... Oh, a piece of the... Uh, if we could have... If we could find just a rag, that would be super useful. Because it'll lead us to the rest of the of the dress. Oh, but what am I saying? I'm not trying to find the dress. I'm trying to find the teddy bear. <laughs> well then. Okay, I guess not. Or maybe. No, okay. So, how do I get in there? Let me check once more. Maybe if Diana is not in there, I can actually try and um, inspect the sewing machine. Nah, she's still here, but... Stop dilly dallying Hurry up and go find him. Well, I'm trying. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You stupid bloody... Fucking princess, you. Mm, I don't know. No, I didn't mean to go in here. Yeah, I guess I celebrated a little too early, didn't I? But that trail of blood is, uh, you know, weird. But it doesn't lead anywhere. It just stops there. And there is nobody. Was Amanda killed? And if so, where was she taken to? Hmm. And if that is the case, where is my gift? I want it. 
I want it so bad. I don't know, let's try going around. Maybe we can interact with some of the boxes. Nope. Hmm. Oh, ho, unless... No? No, I can't even interact with that. I don't know. Let's try going in here and... Uh, hope for the best, I guess. Yeah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. This is not the way to go. I don't know. Um, let's try going back to sector 8. Like in the filth room, maybe? Yeah, because he, he's like, woof, woof, she's here. But I'm pressing X, nothing's happening. I can't hit the door, try to get through. Unless I'm supposed to equip something, but no, nah, right? I hope that it's not because I dropped the little booklet. But come on, that can't be the reason. Why would that trigger anything? It's cool that stuff works. Uh, even in later chapters, though. Hmm, yeah, I'm trying. I'm gonna try going this way. This is where I would have gone uh, without any help from from Brown. Let's see. Filth room, and it's hiding something. Yes, lollipop. Uh, okay. I mean, thank you, but it's tied tightly with rope. Yeah, and this knight is not gonna give us any different clues. Yeah, she has vanished. That's your only clue. Okay. Meh. I mean, I guess this wasn't for nothing. We gained a lollipop out of it, but... I am a little disappointed. Maybe Sector 9? Uh... Nope. 9. This is nicht Sector 9. Okay. Uh... We are finding a lot of tied down stuff. Huh. But yeah. Sector 10 crew cabin. Could it be in here? Like, we're not even at the monster stage. Although, yeah. <laughs> for once. Uh, for once, we're actually finding stuff by going around. And that's really useful. I mean, it'll be useful in boss fights. But yeah, I'm stumped. Just give me a second, I'll I'll have to look up a guide. I really don't know where to go, I'm sorry. Okay, so weirdly enough, the guide did say to go to the Sector 7 cargo area or whatever. And some events will happen. They didn't want to spoil it, which is good, but um, I'm here. No events are happening. What am I supposed to do? Oh, the globe is spinning, though. Mm, it's so weird. I even picked up... Um, no, no, don't go. Don't go. I even picked this up just because, you know... I don't know, we might have triggered something by having it. Uh, but no, I'm here and nothing's happening. I mean, I assume there's something I'm not getting. But I surely hope it's not a bug. Because that would be a problem. I don't know, like, am I crazy? I'll read it for you as well. 
the guide says, uh, leave the sewing machine section, enter the second left door, which is third engine road, continue to the next area is sector seven cargo bay. After some events, yeah, sector seven cargo bay, this, this is it. After some events, I've lost my line. Uh, after some events, go around left area and you can find a glass case key. I'm assuming this is the area they're talking about, but no events are taking place. I can't go in here. What the hell am I supposed to do? Why can I not go in here? Hmm. I don't know. This feels super weird. And if I try going this way, it's not like it'll lead me... Yeah, anywhere useful. Hmm. Unless... Nah. Nah, there's no way. Let me try and go the other way around, but... I don't think... Like, going out... In the... Um, on... In this area. Yeah, Engine 3, Engine 4. The guy did say Engine 3, so... Doesn't make sense. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Like, it wouldn't make sense going up here, right? It'd still be the same. Where does it go? Can I read it? Nope. No, sorry, sorry. Uh, I think it, it actually leads me nowhere. Like, where do I go from here? Engine 4. Yeah, this isn't really gonna be of any help. Alright. Okay, so I thought I actually uh, did that part already, but it turns out there's something I'm supposed to be getting here. Oh, there's a box. Really, Diana, with all due respect, mm. you could have told me. <laughs> oh, something fell out. Take it. Take it. Speak it up. Jennifer found Bear's Tail. It's a small fur ball which seems to belong to a stuffed animal. Okay, anything else I have to take from here before I go? And never look at it again? <laughs> Needles, thread, cloth, and other sewing tools are neatly stored there. Okay. I guess I could let Brown take a whiff of the... Yeah, 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 dude. I know you're eager to go. But, yeah, fine. Okay, so we can drop this... It's not needed anymore. And maybe the Rag Princess as well. I don't know. Let's keep it. Um, let's keep it uh, until we we're like full in the in our inventory. So we were going the right way. We just had to take the little tiny fur ball first. Thank God, like, I, I gave up pretty much right away. I would have never gone back there. I mean, what the fuck? That's me. What the f... Um, I'm sorry. Amanda? Jennifer found glass case key. Yes... Uh, but am I going crazy, Brown? Did you see that? Okay. I mean, shouldn't I use the key on the... Yeah, on the glass case back there? 
But Brownies really wanted me to go here. Oh yeah, there she is. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know what, what I should do first, but... Okay. Oh, it's a... Uh... Oh, shit. What happened? The light went out? Caution! Backup power will be activated in the event of a power failure. To restore power after a failure, restart the generator 1 in sector 11. It's a long way from here. <laughs> Electric room. <laughs> uh, actual location, okay. Oh, but man. I mean, I, I know, like, English is funny, but come on, English. Actually, uh, come on, they could have checked that before. <laughs> okay, okay. So, no, don't go. Um, sector 11 is all the way over here, damn. Okay, okay. We'll get to the glass uh, box, glass case, on the way there. So, in the end, all's good. Huh, it's nice to see that the lights only went out. Oh, actually. Actually. The lights went out in here too, it's just that there's more powerful lights? Yeah. I don't understand, is this supposed to be... Lights off, it's brighter. <laughs> Woof woof. Don't worry, buddy. We're just gonna get. We're just gonna take something we we've been waiting for, for a for a, a quite a while, I would say. Okay. No, stop. Um, stop making brown go places. I just want to do this. Use. Haha! <laughs> Finally. Amanda's Diary Sunday, March the 2nd I don't know what's wrong with me. Was it something I did? Last month I failed. What will happen to me this month? Mr. Hoffman said that a new girl is coming soon. Will I even lose to her and be all miserable? I'm scared. I hate to think of what's in store for me. Sunday, March the 20th Things are going wonderfully. Today they called me out to the backyard. As long as that girl is here, I won't ever be last. What a relief. Sunday, April the 4th. Maybe there really is something wrong with me. What have I done wrong? I tattled on Mr. Hoffman as they told me to do, but I failed again. I'm still lower class even after that girl came. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Sunday, April the 18th. I'm as happy as can be today. They showed me the symbol of the aristocrats. If I can get a red crayon, I too will be one of them. But that girl will never get a crayon. She is far too uncouth. In any case, I'll never be last again, I'm sure of it. And then she was last again. Sunday, June the 1st. No, 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 Those awful things got into my mouth. She'll be sorry the next chance I get. But why me again? What have I done? Okay, I hate her, I hate her, oh my, I've got to sue the rags. Oh my, I've got to sue the rags. Okay, yeah. Oh, woe is me. Damn, take a chill pill, Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> After all that time I spent suing it, Basil, Fanny, George, Hector, Ida, Leo, Paul, why must they always bother me so? Oh, woe is me. Oh, why can't they just all go to hell? Basil, have an up on the railroad tracks. Fanny, take a dive off the roof. George, I'll hang you upside down. Hector. Get run over by a carriage. Ida, I have some fancy poison jam for you. Leo, walk across an open manhole. Paul, got smothered under a great rug. 
And lastly, the girl. The aristocrats will have their way with her. Oh, how very delightful life is. That wretched girl will do my dirty work. I'll work her to the bone. Oh, I feel wonderful today. I'm so worried. I just don't know what's going to happen. Hey, she's becoming an angel. Well, you know, dreams come true. It could happen. You could become a beautiful, sweet angel. You know, just going around heaven, pestering all the saints. But, uh, yeah, yeah, you might be joining them pretty soon. Anyway, on this note, I think I'll end the episode. So, thank you everybody for having followed me thus far. I have been Loaf Dog, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.